Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love reading for the 23rd through the end of August. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Born under the sign of Virgo. Okay, let's get started. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Virgos? In the next week in love, what do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Okay. Okay. That's an awful lot. <clears throat> there we go. Where one pump in first card out is you, Virgo. So um you're really being protective over your family. You could have children. Um finding yourself again is what I'm hearing for for this group of you. You've been kind of lost. Um, you've been kind of just going with the flow, not disrupting anything to save the argument, to save the fight. But you're finding yourself again this week. You also have the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's making you feel like an outcast. Somebody um, could be giving you the cold shoulder. Somebody could... Um, you're feeling like they're moving on without you. Yeah. The next card out is the <clears throat> Prince of Wands. So, um, yeah, you're thinking about a fire sign here. Um, somebody that you had kind of a whirlwind romance with at one time. Um, this is somebody from your past, somebody you've been with this lifetime. You feel like they're, they're moving on without you. Um, Yeah, I'm hearing that this person has been waiting a long time for you. And they're also feeling like you just kind of up and abandoned them. You kind of left them. So you're both kind of dealing with heartbreak from the past. Um, yeah, you guys have the Six of Pentacles as well. So there was um, not an even exchange of energy in the past. Um, you Virgos could have had somebody else. Um, they could have as well, but the equal give and take of energy was not there. You have the lovers as well. So you're hoping for a reconciliation with this person. You're hoping that um, when you're ready, um, that they're going to be there waiting for you. You have the seven of swords as well. You're worried that... Um, you're worried you're missing out. You're worried that they're gonna that they're gonna move on, that they're gonna leave you behind, and uh, you too also could have um, snuck around in the past. There could have been a third party here with the Six of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Um, you could still be with somebody, Virgo. Actually, is what I'm seeing here. Um, this person emotionally fulfills you though with the Nine of Cups. They're everything you want. You're they're everything that you're um wanting in life to have in a partner um but i'm seeing you have to you have to give the equal amount of energy if you want them to come forward if, if you want them to make the effort to be in a, in a relationship with you then you need to give that equal exchange of um of energy you also have the two of wands so um you're coming to a crossroads. You're going to have to make a decision very soon um, about which way you're going to go, which path you're going to take. Um, because you have two options here. You've been kind of stuck and stagnant for quite a while, but I do see um, for the majority of you, um, you choosing the fire sign. Uh, from your past to move forward with. You also have the Ace of Swords as your next card out. So um, you're going to to get out of this time of confusion. Uh, you're going to get out of this fog that you've been kind of living in, not knowing what to do, not facing how you truly feel. Yeah. Um, 
<clears throat> with this Ace of Swords, though, it brings a new beginning. It gives you the opportunity to um, come come clean with this person to come forward and to offer them um, offer them the truth that they've been waiting for. Four of Swords is your next card out. So you've been taking a lot of time to think this through. Um, you have not, by any means, acted in a rushed manner. Um, you've been taking your time. You've been trying to look at it from all um, perspectives on which way to go, how to um, move down the path that you feel you're meant to be on with the person you're meant to be and regain yourself again. And you've been working very hard thinking about how to get in a line, get on your path with that person and, and remain who you are um, deep down. You also have the King of Wands here. <clears throat> Heavy fire sign energy in this reading. Um, could be an Aries or a Sagittarius or Leo as well. But this person um, is very passionate, very... Um, people are drawn to this person. Uh, everything they do, they do with their heart. No matter what. Um, oops. Uh, the Three of Swords. So there's some heartbreak going on um, between both people. They're... They experienced heartbreak in the past with this King of Wands, um, and you're currently experiencing it, Virgo, because you feel like this person is moving on without you. You also have the Death card, so you fear that this transition that you're going through, that this um, shedding, this purging that you're doing, that you're going to lose the person that has been waiting for you um, because you're fearing that you took too long. Um, you also have the Hanged Man here. So... Um, in this time that, that you guys have been separated, um, they have taken that time to go through a transformation of their own, a dark night of the soul. Um, and they have beautifully come out of that transformation and into the person that they are meant to be. This is a beautiful um, combination of cards um, with the alchemist and the death card. They um, took the time that was apart from you, Virgos, and they used it to... Um, really um, find themselves to to heal to um, become the person that they wanted to be the karmic scales are finally balancing out for you guys um, also for a group of you you're going to go through a divorce you are um, weighing out the pros and cons of your decisions the um, cause and effects of everything that has happened in the past and you are going to equal out those um, scales and move forward with this person. Yeah, Princess of Swords here as well. So, um, finding out some information. Um, you could be delivering this information because it's right under the Ace of Swords. Um, you're going to let this person know what's going on. You're going to let this person know that um, you want to be with them, that um, you are going to end any commitments that you're currently in and um, move forward um, hopefully with a uh, a future with them the queen of swords is here as well so this person could be acting cold to you right now um they're kind of hurt by the amount of time it has taken um you to move in this direction they've given up hope honestly they have been um cutting people out purging um eliminating people from their lives that uh no longer serve them and you're worried that you're going to be um on the chopping block virgo um, they could be cold to you, like I said, due to the amount of time it's taken you to move forward. To them, they're like, this is what we got. Why are you not moving forward? Why are you not choosing me if, if I'm who you want? Um, they didn't fully understand, but they are starting to get it now while, um, while they were in the hang, hanged man um, time uh, period where they were uh, no longer concerned about their outcome as far as um, the overall outcome. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you could be uh, you could could be concerned about um, money issues. Uh, if you leave this person, are you going to be able to financially make it? Um, and also, you're working hard to rekindle this connection, um, as well as working hard on yourself. Um, you kind of closed off your heart to everybody else. And um, you've just kind of gone within. 
Uh, don't go within for too long because then that turns into a, a depression of a sort. But you're just closed off. Your heart is closed off because that one person that you're thinking of is not who you're with right now. And your last card. Wow. What a beautiful last card. The world. Um, completing cycles. Um, wow. You have so many major arcana here, Virgos. Um, you are allowing cycles to complete. You are allowing endings so new beginnings can come forward. You're allowing endings so you can be who you're meant to be with. Or who you're meant to be and, and who you're meant to be with. Um, amazing card to end out the week. Um, going into your sign of Virgo. Um, big changes are on the horizon for you. There's a lot of major arcana here. Overall, it's a beautiful reading, Virgos. Um, I do see a lot of uh, heartache and worry about this person moving on without you. But um, but for a lot of you, um, they'll still be there. And the card that flipped is stay optimistic about your love life. Think positive and faith will bring you the romance that you are meant to have. So um, don't get down. Don't get depressed. Don't lose faith or hope because it's coming for you. And what you need to do now is just love yourself first. Um, you can't uh, you can't offer uh, that love if you don't love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive, um, and you can't love somebody truly and honestly without loving yourself first. You have to um, you have to put yourself first once in a while. Your bottom of the deck is codependency. So for some of you, addictions um, are affecting your choices. Um, that is not for all of you, obviously. But um, for some of you, you are struggling with an addiction. Um, and that's, again, where this will come in. Um, love yourself first, most definitely. So Virgos, you overall have a beautiful reading. Um, keep going. You're almost there. You're so close to the finish line and um, where you're meant to be. So allow that um, death to happen. Allow um, transformations and take the time to um, take the time for you. Follow your heart. Um, those that really love you and want you to be happy will um, accept these changes and it may not happen all at once, I'm hearing, but um, they will come around. So don't let family and friends hold you back from following your heart. So that's all I have for you, Virgos. I hope you have a beautiful week. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.